You don't have to be a neuroscientist to understand that music can, let's say, influence the way we feel. But did you know that different genres of music actually produce different reactions in our brains? And that understanding this impact is important for advertisers? To understand why, we partnered with NeuroInsight in the largest ever neuroanalysis of music and podcasts of its kind. We already know that music impacts all parts of our subconscious, but how? Within every genre, you know, there's music that's going to make you feel sad, happy, chill, whatever, <laughs> and a range of emotions. You know, we try to understand what genres are going to hit for certain users in a certain way. Depending on the genre and the taxonomy of it, you know, the, the BPM, the tempo, you know, the lyrics, it's going to trigger different, you know, different neural responses. Looking at it neuroscientifically, the study compared aspects of a song signature, like beat strength or danceability, to the neurosignature it left behind, such as its memorability, emotional impact and engagement it triggered. So what does this mean for advertisers? We were able to see that how a genre impacts the neurostate and what kind of advertising would actually be a better fit in that genre. For example, rap storytelling style and lyrical details triggered high engagement and memory encoding. We found that the most effective advertising kept things short and to the point and directly addressed the listener, taking a cue from rap lyrics by flowing naturally and emphasising the last words of each line. In contrast, longer ads performed better in the rock genre. Rock's high instrumentalization and energy creates an emotionally rich experience that perhaps puts listeners in more of a mindset to take a break and listen. Pop's easy listening and balanced signatures provided a well-rounded experience for listeners. Shorter, direct ads that efficiently informed on relevant features performed best. And Latin's diverse collection of subgenres created a more pronounced, well-rounded experience that triggered all parts of the subconscious, allowing for many types of ad creative to be effective. Overall, the most effective advertising leaned into the mood and audience of each genre, match their mood rather than trying to disrupt the listening experience, speak their language and keep it natural and conversational. Obviously at Spotify, we have the luxury to know so much about our listeners. We know what they love, we know what kind of content they're engaging with. We know exactly you know, how the ads need to be created to resonate better, you know, depending on the genre of music it's around it. For more insights on the study and how to craft effective advertising creative, check out the full Sonic Science report on ads.spotify.com.